Hi hi 3ds Max enthusiasts! In today's quick tutorial I'm going to be walking you through how to use Google Earth to make bitmap terrain and then export that into 3ds Max. Okay cool. So let's get started. So you may not know but you can actually download Google Earth Pro onto your computer and I don't actually think I have it on this computer so let's just go ahead and download that so you just go ahead and install this like you would with any regular software application yes And then once that is complete, you can open Google Earth Pro. So let's just zoom in to the area we are interested in. In this case, it's Footscray. So once you have your a location, uh, you may want to just insert a pin so you can refer back to that same place. Let's just call that Footscray Map. And there's our pin. So if we move around, go elsewhere, we can always come back to that. Perfect. So for this purpose, we may want to turn off all of our labels. Don't need that. 3D buildings could be useful. Maybe just for this purpose, we can turn off our pin. So let's just go ahead and save out that image. And let's just save that in documents. So I've just gone ahead and opened 3ds Max. Let's just make a quick plane. You may want to adjust the segments depending on how much detail you'd like. Let's just start with 100 by 100. And then we need to go into our modifiers and we want displace. For our image bitmap, we just need to go to documents and find the image that we just saved out from Google Earth. open and you can't really see anything right now let's just increase the strength oh there we go
So as you can see, the image is larger than the plane. So we may want to just widen that plane. the blur kind of smooths it out. Makes it less sharp, if that makes sense. And there you have it. We have a terrain from Google Earth applied in 3ds Max. So just a bit of a side mission over here. While we're on the topic of bitmap images, um, you can add any image into this. Uh, it doesn't need to just be a Google Earth or a terrain. So let's add something fun. Need to do another plane. It's already got the 100 by 100 segments. Displace. And let's select our image. So I've just gone to Google Images and literally just Googled black and white bitmap bird, I think, and got this gorgeous little crow. Let's put him in. Turn our strength way up. That is so cool. So it's very obvious with this one, but the black in the image will be flat or it will be the lowest height and the white will be risen with the strength so it's just something to keep in mind if you need to go into Photoshop so for instance if we wanted the bird shape to be high you can just open that image in Photoshop And I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be transparent, but as usual, it is not. Let's check. Nope. All right, let's fix that. Remove background. Gotta love AI. I mean, his wings kind of messed up, but for the purpose of this exercise, we not, that will not concern us too much. Let's just invert the image. Sure. Let's just export this one quickly. PNG is fine. Save. Now. Let's jump back into 3ds Max and can just update this link. There we go, the black is the background which is now completely flat and at the lowest level and the bird which is white 
is the highest part. Again, you can play with the blur to soften those edges. You can always go back into the plane and add additional segments for more detail. So that's it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and as always, stay cool and carry on.